Yuck. Yuck. Okay, so now it's time to put the coilovers on. We haven't done them on a Benz before, so this is definitely gonna be a learning curve. But these are yellow speed racing coilovers. Uh, tell us about them. Yeah, so uh, yellow speed racing is pretty much like the only manufacturer that makes coilovers, um, at least that are worth a damn for the Mercedes. Um, at least the W220s, a lot of people with the big bodies usually like to go with them. They do, uh, they are involved in FD. I'm not sure exactly who. Uh, someone ran them in the 2020 season, so. Uh, but I know that they are, they're really nice. Uh, they're 32 way adjustable. The fronts are 14K spring rates. The rears are uh, like 22, 24, I believe. And then I also got these block off plates for the ABC system because the AMG comes with the ABC as opposed to the air system. Um, and then I've also got these remote adjustable uh, for my dampening in the rear because since the top of the shock tower is going to be sitting behind um, the deck lid, I won't be able to access easily the adjustment settings. Now you get the idea. It's basically just an adjuster that you twist one way for tightening or twist another way for loosening except it's just an extension for it. So. That's what we got. Say it's gonna look so good when I, once it's slammed. The wheel gap on both the rear and the front was massive. Like on the rear, I could fit my whole fist in there. So it's definitely gonna be a lot of fun. The front was at least like three fingers, three four fingers. So yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Say one of the things I was noticing already is on the shock itself. It looks like it twists in because there's, thre there's threads for like the front ones. So whenever we take off the top of the shock, we're probably gonna have to drop this. Uh, or separate this control arm so we could drop the knuckle and then probably gonna have to twist this out so we'll see what happens as we go and uh yeah it's gonna be tons of fun gonna get the big bodies together looking all slammed and stuff so yeah so it was just what the, those 313s take yep. the cover off and that plug and then these are so old you can about push the top of this out of there yeah not to mention i do have a hydraulic fluid leak as well so the yeah. system's only about half full which is kind of nice because it does give us some compression because when the system <laughs> works and it's faulty it maxes them out on max stick stiffness max height and this would be like way more of a pain in the ass oh man <laughs> the tip of it is stuck inside of the allen ah uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we got the little bit out. This is all it was. Use the fat magnet with smacking the shock with the hammer. So, thanks, Jason. Out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's just take the shock out. Come on. Okay, so for the hydraulic lines, because we already did the we already did the other side, because we just didn't want to deal with that. We wanted to be happy for a little bit. <laughs> so, okay, so how do you take these off? So what I did was I took off this right here. This is uh, the connector for your ride height sensor. Uh, if you take this off, it gives you a little bit more room because this is just like a hydraulic or like an air fitting. Basically, all you have to do is take the ring, pull it back, and then you'll hear it. It'll be a loud pop, and it'll separate, and then that frees up this hose, which goes all the way up to the top of the shock tower up here. Yeah, you can't see. You'll see it once you pull it out. Yeah, but, but basically, that'll be our next step. Once we get that out, pulled out, then it should be able to just drop right out. Oh, there you go. This is all that plug is, and it just goes in the back where that hose would sit, and then no, uh, no problem, no yeah. leaking problem. And then these plugs too, I didn't mention it earlier, but these were bought separately off of eBay. Uh, I believe I paid like seventy dollars for them. But all right, now this is the stock shock versus the coilover, and this is where that hydraulic line was in the back that we were talking about. But these thing, these things definitely have seen better days. Like the boot that I was covering the spring is completely gone. Um, and the coilover, it's it weighs slightly less than this, so it's gonna be a nice low weight reduction mod as well. This is so cool, man. <laughs> right? <laughs> dude, the AMG, you're putting coilovers on an AMG. I know, dude. 
I'm just looking at like all the lines and sensors and just the fucking suspension and I'm like, this is fucking crazy that we're working on this shit. Yeah. Kind of a different bone. Yeah, it's a little complicated. Yeah. I thought your Lexus was fucking complicated when you got that. <laughs> little did I know what was in store oh, for yeah, me. Oh yeah, you have the bougie of bougie, bro. <laughs> We got first try. Yeah, right? <laughs> so that's the front coil over all in. Um, we have a wheel on the driver's side, so you guys can just kind of get an idea of where they're sitting right now. Mind you, it's full droop, so that's the rear, how much space, and the front, how there's like literally no space. So <laughs> it's definitely going to be a very good, uh, very good drop whenever we decide to lower it. So. Time for the rears. Okay, so starting in the rears, there's this little cover um, that has a speaker back here, but that's where your, your nuts are gonna be for that shock. It's in tight space, but it's definitely doable. We gotta take off the wheels and just take a look at everything else. Yeah, everything in the front is all tightened up. Uh, we're obviously gonna worry about lowering it and uh, doing the right height at the end whenever we can drop all of it together. They look so much better than the slight little gold just popping out. So, definitely well worth it. All right, Pi, have the bottom bolt out. Oh. We, got, we got to pull back all this, uh, all the fender liner. We got to pull that back because uh, that where this hydraulic line goes. Um, we have to get up into there to uh, disconnect it. But we got everything else off, so. God, that thing is long. Holy yeah. shit. You think so? <laughs> you think it's big? Dude, that thing's like three feet. <laughs> you versus a guy should tell you the Dude, look at that. What the fuck? That's insane. It's like something that should be on like a pickup truck. Looks like fun, Gunner. It's a lot of fun, you know? Yeah, just being tucked up into the corner. Yeah, I have no room to move my head. You know. Can you even, like, see? Oh, yep, there's his hand. Damn. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all the coils are on. We got the wheels on. Now it's time to do the first lower. See uh, how bad we gotta fix it. Oh, boy. Oh! <laughs> Okay, so we might be a uh, little too low in the front. <laughs> dude, the rears look practically stock. But dude, the fronts. Oh. <laughs> this side, bro. God. Oh, yes. You can't drive that. Nah, that's fine. That's good fitment. No, that needs to come up. Needs a spacer. I'm gonna be set. A spacer? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Alright, so. Guess we have some work cut out for us. <laughs> yeah, we should take, take some measurements. I was gonna say we should take measurements before I raise yeah, it back I mean, up. It's easy to work on now, you know. It yeah. is. Much lower. I'm kicking the left. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier to stare at your AMG logo. <laughs> <laughs> Dropped the rear an inch. Raised the front an inch and a half. Oh, the rear is good. The rear is. Perfect. The rear is neat. Oh. 
<laughs> Dude, the rear, the rear looks awesome. The front needs to go down. Very soft, but yeah, no. Front can go down a little bit. Yeah. Dude, I know the rear is like flush. Woo! Like, like the wheel matches the body, like. Yeah. Like, look at that, dude. That's actually insane. Oh, look at how much lower it is in the brief thing. I know. Hot, it looks so much better now, dude. Uh, Alright, Brutus. How's the build checking out? Cool. Thanks. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That matches. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I feel rewarded. Yeah. All right, so the coilover install is done. I'm about to go take it for a ride just to see how it feels. Uh, we have the front, so these are 33 way adjustable. We have the front at 19 and the rear at 15 or 16, I believe. Um, so we're gonna go see how it feels. Uh, we're super curious because there's not a lot of videos on this uh, coilover setup, and with the way the Mercedes suspension is, it's basically independent. There's no sway bars and stuff, so super curious just to see how it's gonna ride. Hopefully it rides great. I'm gonna guess so. Um, and plus, with the hydraulic system being broken, um, it was just so boaty every time we would ride in it. Yeah. So <laughs> absolutely awful. Yeah. So this is gonna be, hopefully, be a great time, and just be nothing but excitement. <laughs> <laughs> It's like not even like very comparable to stock. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how stock is supposed to feel. Yeah. Not all worn out and yeah. loose. So if anything, I might stiffen up the rears a little bit, just because I do feel like the rear kind of tends to bounce diaper a little over these bumps. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think the fronts came down just a little bit. It did. I'm pretty sure, but it still looks great. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, the install was definitely a whole lot easier than what me and Pi both expected. So, very thankful for that for sure. Uh, what's also nice is it kind of opens up this new door for Mercedes content um, and AMG content in general, like with that car. So, if you guys want to see anything specific, just let me know. Um, and then me and Pi can figure stuff out. So, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. That'd be really cool. And then I'll uh, see you guys in the next video.